Well, for the next one, the entire India and Pakistan will be on their feet because we've got the co-main event for the evening, which is for the Bantamweight title. We've got Dhruv Chaudhary in the blue corner representing India and he's taking on Ulumi Karim in the red corner representing Pakistan. When India and Pakistan a cricket match, so many people are so upset. So, you think that when you are in the middle of the war, what will happen to the two of them? It's going to be a lot of fun today. Dhruv and Ulumi are both very dangerous fighters. Dhruv is a child in Indian MMA. But I will tell you about Ulumi. पाकिस्तान के नॉर्दर्न रीजन से आते हैं वो जहाँ बहुत माउंटेन्स हैं और उलूमी फाइटर होने के साथ साथ एक म्यूजिशियन भी हैं और इनके पास कंप्यूटर साइंस की डिग्री भी है तो काफ़ी यूनिक काफ़ी अलग तरह के इंसान है ये बहुत रोमांचक मुकाबला होने वाला है आज यहाँ Well, for sure, Ulumi is a high IQ guy, but he's today facing a stalwart of Indian MMA, Dhruv Chaudhary. Ladies and gentlemen, Hope you're ready for some bone-crushing, rare naked choking action, as this is the co-main event of the evening. And now, making his way to the cage, Dhruv Psycho Chaudhary! Ram Ram, all of you have a name Dhruv Chaudhary. I'm going to be a local merit. I've been born and I've been born in this sports. I wanted to fight with a Pakistani. Look, I believe 100% that we are going to play a sport. And in sports, there is no enemy in sports. We are in the ring, we are in the ring, we are in the ring, we are in the ring. We are in the ring. And tell us that someone came from India, who came from India versus Pakistan. And brother, the rest of the party will come to India. Get ready. For the support of Delhi. Thank you. If ever there was a fitting nickname, it is Psycho for true. After spending time with the guy, you realize he is absolutely crazy. Well, he's living up to his cage name. He's a Psycho for sure. Cutting down to the bantamweight now for the title. And he's one of the most experienced fighters in the Indian MMA circuit. In his look, in his feel, you're a Psycho. And now, what did he say in the promo video? कि पूरी जिंदगी में मेरी तमन्ना थी मुझे एक बार पाकिस्तानी से लड़ना है। जॉन ही सेड इट वाज इस लाइफ लॉन्ग ड्रीम टू फाइट अ पाकिस्तानी एंड नाउ ही गोट दैट अवॉर्चुनिटी। लेट्स लुक एट इस कीज़ टू विक्ट्री। ही लाइक्स टू बी फर्स्ट एंड डिक्टेट द पेस। ही गोट अ मैसिव रीच एडवांटेज very underrated. If he secures it on you, you will not escape. Well, yes, John. And for this fight, Dhruv ran his camp at Soma MMA in Bali. So far, I think Coach Mike of Soma MMA has been so successful. He's 3-0. Three of his fighters fought today, and they've got the wins. Over to Jared. And his opponent making his way to the cage. The God of War, Ulumi Curry! My name is Lumi Karim Shaheen. Uh, my fight name is Kratos, God of War. It goes on the look. Uh, I am from Pakistan, from the northern Pakistan. This will be my third fight uh, against an Indian opponent. I'm fighting Dhruv Chaudhary for the Pantomweight uh, Championship. I'm the kind of a person who doesn't go down that easy. I mean, I literally say this every time that you'll have to kill me to get through. that I have fought, if someone watches my fights, they will see that I, I don't back down. बहुत ही interesting personality है इनकी God of War बोलते हैं अपने आप को Kratos जो video game है God of War उसमें एक character है Kratos तो ये अपने आप को Kratos बोलते हैं काफी interesting personality है musician है guitar बजाते हैं computer science की degree है बहुत ही well spoken आदमी है and I'm really, I'm really excited, Rahul, to see what he shows us in the cage tonight. Kratos or Ulumi Karim, also known as the Pakistani Demetrius Johnson, he's here as the first Pakistani fighter at MFN. Let's look at his keys to victory. He's got a good punch kick combination. He throws in a lot of volume and output. He should be angling out and firing back at uh, Dhruv, and he should avoid the clinch with Dhruv because Dhruv is a taller guy, he, and he's got an excellent clinch game. 
And you know what he told me earlier today? I spoke to him. He said, listen, I never look for easy things in life. I knew this is going to be a tough fight and that's why I wanted it because I want to give the fight fans, the viewers, the best show possible. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Dhruv is 29 years old. Ulumi is 31. Dhruv definitely has a massive reach advantage. Also, because Dhruv missed the weight, he has a slight, he's slightly heavier than Ulumi. This fight is for the MFN Bantamweight title. And now, first we introduce the blue corner. Presenting a kickboxer. He weighed in at 62.4 kilograms. Representing India. Make some noise for Drew Psycho Chagre. And now, presenting a mixed martial artist. Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 61.3 kilograms. Representing Pakistan, Alumi Kratos Karim! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Daniel Isaac. Gentlemen, you both are aware of the GAMAF rules. Let's have a good, clean fight. When I ask you to break or to stop, please stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now or step back to your corners. All right, guys, let's get this fight fest started. This is the core main event of the evening. We've got the psycho Dhruv Chaudhary in the blue corner representing India, taking on Kratos, the God of War, Pakistani Dimitris Johnson, Ulumi Karim in the red corner. Now, John, do you know that Ulumi Karim is one Pakistani, is the only Pakistani fighter who's fought two Indians before. He's 101 against India, and tonight he fights Dhruv Chaudhary for the title. He certainly has his hands full tonight. For sure. And the sad thing for Indian fans is that even if Dhruv wins, he's not going to get the title because he missed weight yesterday. He missed weight by almost a kg. Bilkul Rahul, this is a bantamweight title fight, but if Dhruv wins, he won't get the title because he missed weight. So this time, Dhruv's motivation is only that if I can't get the belt, then I won't get anyone. Exactly. He's of the opinion that if he doesn't take home the belt, it's okay. He won't let Urumi Kareem take the belt home. Dhruv looking very comfortable taking the center of the cage here. He's got that wider stance, probably trying... Got some slipping again. Kafi slippery ho chuki hai cage. Well, this is the co-main event. Beautiful the leg fight kick. Beautiful leg night. kick. Kadak leg kick lagai wahan pe Dhruv ne. Dhruv connected right there with a nice straight right hand. बहुत ही इंटेलिजेंट स्ट्राइकिंग कर रहे हैं द्रोव अपना पूरा टाइम ले रहे हैं और उसके बाद लैंड कर रहे हैं क्या बात है लैंडिंग किक्स फेक्स लो एंड गोस हाई यूजिंग इज रीच एडवांटेज एस ही शुड गाइस डिड यू नोटिस दैट ही थ्रू टू लेग किक्स एंड देन द थर्ड वन वेंट टू द हेड दैट्स ब्यूटीफ He's a lot longer. See him snap it out. Our crowd is really getting into the fight now. Well, and Ulumi got a takedown. After eating 4 or 5 strikes, he had to do something to Ulumi. So, he had to charge in and he had to keep the groove in the cage against. We've got the crowd getting electric here. We can hear people shouting India and Pakistan. And they're in. We've got Ulumi Kareem attempting a takedown and he's got He's carrying. He's got Dhruv, it. And he throws him at his corner. Well, that's some intelligent fighting. It is you know, very he, intelligent fighting. John, he carried Dhruv from his corner and threw him at his own corner. Daniel, sir, saying do not hold the cage to Dhruv. And some intelligent fighting here by Ulumi Karim. 
to Kratos. God of War. Ooh. I'm going to watch for Illumi here to put a little bit more pressure on Drew and go again for that takedown where he was finding success. Bilkul, Illumi ko distance close karna hoga and, and he'll have to go for that takedown. Drew is really going to need to establish a jab right now. There we go. Shoots in there for the double again. leg. Gets him against the cage. Fighting for a single leg. Drew has a good, good double underhook here, preventing him from getting in. Fighting for inside control. Filhal, badiya kam karte hoye. Drew take down ko defend karne ka, aur unhone palat diya hai. Nice, nice knee. Ulumi has a body lock and is able to reverse it. Ulumi is very strong, John. He is very for strong. Sure. He's put up a good camp for this fight under the patronage of his elder brother, Coach Ehtisham. Nice clinch nice. and knee series by Dhruv here. Dhruv is going to need to establish that jab, guys. In Whoa! Oh, that was Ooh, he's out, guys. Right hand. This could be it. Well, this could be it. it. Punch drunk. Wow. Man, what my a right goodness. Hand. Ulumi Karim makes history, becomes the first Pakistani MMA fighter to win a title at Matrix Fight Night. We've got the undisputed and the first what bantamweight a right hand. title holder. Ek hi mukke me Ulumi Karim ne kahani kari khatm aur khud ko banaya. MFN ka bantam weight champion. Well, exactly. That's what Ulumi Karim is shouting. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Let's look at what happened, guys. That punch was insane. Man, that was right, right really on the nice. chin, and right. throw was out. A very nice right overhand right there, guys. Very well placed, right on the button, putting Dhruv out. Well, Ulumi is saying peace through sports, peace through sports. On the contrary, his brother is shouting, Pakistan Zindabad. I don't get this, man. I, I I'm so sorry. Either. This is but, wild. <laughs> well, this is wild, but here we represent MMA culture. All we want is it peace. It makes a lot of sense. And, and, and I personally feel that MMA is here to unite people, unite countries. Much respect to the new and the first MFN bantamweight title holder, Ulumi Kareem. 100%. What? You know, guys, you what? need a place where you can compete and fight. Yes. And the point is you channelize your anger and aggression. You don't just suppress it or cut it off. So you fight in the cage, but outside the cage, you show sportsman, uh, sportsmanship, you be a friend, and you be an overall honorable person. So peace through sports. I love what he's saying. Well, that's an excellent motto. We've got the God of War walking back home, making history, taking home inaugural bantamweight title. Guys, I'm speechless right now. What a performance. What a performance, man. What a performance. He, he came out and played his game. Well, through walking out of the cage, still looks a little bit punch drunk. Yeah, Dhruv, Dhruv got really rocked with that he shot, did. man. Uh, yes, well, he that did. That was a massive right hand. Dhruv is still not back on this planet right I hope now. that Dhruv is okay. He looks okay. He's walking. He's on his feet, so he looks okay. But what a performance by Lumi. Truly a championship-worthy performance, guys. I'm very impressed with his performance. He is one heck of a fighter, guys. Well, that's what a crazy Aisha Mam, the mentor and the force behind MFN. What an excellent night of fights we've had here. This was the co-main event. And over to Jared for the official announcement. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, Rev Dan called the start of this contest in the first round at 3 minutes and 17 seconds. For your winner by knockout, and now the new MFN Bantamweight Champion of the World, Ulumi Kratos Karim!
professor. All right, Illumi, that was a great fight. I know there's a lot happening, there's a lot of emotions right now. Tell me everything that you're feeling. Everything. Uh, I'm sorry. First off, thank you so much, everyone, for coming out here, being such an amazing audience and putting on such a beautiful show. I would want to thank, from the bottom of my heart, Ma'am Aisha and the entire MFN team, Sir Tiger, you have so many fans in Pakistan, everyone would be telling me that they're jealous of me, uh, that you gave me this belt and they would want me to take a picture with you. And so many people love you guys, there you go. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. It's an honor, absolute honor and pleasure to be here, being the first ever Pakistani uh, in an Indian promotion, winning for a title belt against an Indian. Uh, I mean, this is a big thing for me. I have a roller coaster of emotions. So much going on in my life, so, so many ups and downs, but I'm grateful for everything, alhamdulillah for everything. Uh, God has a plan, God always works things according to a plan. He puts you in a place where you can rise up. You know, I, my coach has always told me, my big brother coach, he's, he's been training me since day one. He's the guy who got me in the sport. He's the guy who has been my trainer since day one. We are the pioneers of MMA in Pakistan. And this guy has made it all possible. He's, please everybody, please give him a round of applause. Coach, MMA preacher. Thank you. And uh, finally, to my team Fairtex, to all my sponsors, I want to give a shout out. Uh, Scottman, Sunny D, Sunny D Pro by Scottman, uh, Fighting Alliance, KO Fitness, Green Hill, and Asad Bhai, Abid Bhai, uh, all my friends and who have, whoever have supported me, fighters, friends, um, the biggest of them all, Fairtex Training Center, my team, Team Fairtex, Boss Prem, Mr. Wong, I told you, you believed in me, you said I work hard, you said I have the attitude to become a world champion. This is my fourth championship title for you guys. Mr. Wong, we did it. Well, I also want to say, obviously you have the right aggression when you're fighting, and then you also talk about peace through sport, and that's so important as athletes to forget everything else and just be pure athletes and compete when you have that platform. For sure. Uh, I'm really sorry to my sister Bev, the Diesel Diva, the queen of tribe Diesel Diva. She's the one who basically got me out there. From, uh, she, put me out, uh, she pulled me out from Pakistan, sponsored me, took me to Thailand, and she's been supporting me ever since. My biggest sponsor, my biggest supporter, my older sister, sis Bev Diesel Diva, representing tribe Diesel Diva. Uh, she's the one who started with Message Peace through sport. And Team Fight Fortress, you know, she's the one who uh, supports Team Fight Fortress. She's the one who supports a lot of fighters, and she's the one who backs me up with the message of peace through sport. This is not my first time fighting an Indian opponent. Uh, this is my third time, and every single time I've fought an Indian opponent, I've said peace through sport. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now, too. We're not politicians, ladies and gentlemen. We're athletes. We put our hearts, minds, and bodies on the line. We put everything on the line. I have a huge respect, huge respect for Dhruv. Even though he missed weight, I still took the fight. Uh, even though I took his money too, <laughs> but uh, I took the fight, you know, even whatever happened, the result was Alhamdulillah. Um, I wish him nothing but the best for the future. I wish him a uh, healthy recovery. I hope he hears me and uh, peace through sports, man. You know, we're all athletes. We put our hearts, minds and bodies on the line. A huge shout out, finally, a huge shout out to my fam from Pakistan and Gilgit Baltistan. My dearest Chacha, Chacha Ghazi Kareem. Heading everybody here. Thank you so much for coming, Jaja. I love you. He's supported me since day one, and he's been my he's been my support system. He's my strength. He's my pillar. If if I may, can I please have him inside here for a minute, please? You know, I feel like you'd rather want to go out there and celebrate with all of them because then the cameras can follow you there. But I'm gonna let you enjoy this special moment. So please go join your family there, ladies and gentlemen. Our winner today, Lumi Kareem. Oh. Over to come.